Good evening, sports fans. Jason P. here. It's Week 10 in the NFL. We're halfway through the season. Team Take'em is here for your Week 10 picks. Last week, I had that Halloween mojo going just like I said I would. Went 3-1 and one last week. Very good week for me. Sean P. went 2-2. Two and two. Billy B. Billy B. Once again, 0-4. Oh What's happening with you, Billy? Got to pick this up a little bit. Like I mentioned, we are halfway through the season. Before we get to the picks, we do want to give you an update on our yearly record so far, our, our record for this year so far. Sean P. leading the pack, 19 wins, 16 losses, and one tie. Billy B., 11 and 25 so far this season. Billy, we got to pick this up. We get, we're half a season done, got another half season to go. You got to pick it up, Billy. You, you prognosticator of the year last year, we've got to pick this up. And my records, I've only been doing this four weeks. Only been on the video four weeks. In the four weeks, I am nine and seven. Not too shabby for somebody who doesn't know all that much about football. Without any further ado, let me get to my week 10 picks. My first pick is the Seattle Seahawks minus six over the Atlanta Falcons. I like the Seahawks because they're eight and one. Well, that's, they're not doing too shabby themselves. You know, so I picked the Seahawks minus six over the Falcons. My second pick is the New York Giants minus seven over the Oakland Raiders. I got a good feeling about the uh, the, the Giants coming off a of bye week, and uh, you know the, the the Raiders got their asses handed to them last week by Nick Foles, the Eagles. So let's go with the Giants minus seven is my second pick. My third pick, doing something I haven't done before. I'm not going against the spread. I'm choosing the over-under on this one. My third pick is the Dallas Cowboys and the New Orleans Saints to go over 54. I couldn't really decide one way or another how I liked that game to go, so I figured I'd take the over because these two teams like to score a lot of points. So, again, Dallas Cowboys, New Orleans Saints, over 54. And my lock of the week is the San Diego Chargers plus 7 over the Denver Broncos. Why did I pick this team? Well, this year when Billy B and Sean P agree on picks on the video, they're currently 2-7. and seven. Not a great record when those two pick together. Whenever those two pick the same team, which tonight they did, it's good to go the other way. So my lock of the week, again, is the San Diego Chargers plus 7 over the Denver Broncos. And with that, I will send it over to Sean P. for his Week 10 picks. What's up, guys? Sean P. here with Week Number 10 picks. Um, last week I went 2-2, two and two, as Jason probably mentioned. Um, I believe I'm two games above 500 on the year, um, ATS, which is, I'm fairly certain, better than almost any other YouTuber that's doing these picks. I don't think there's anybody who actually has a better record than that at this moment. Uh, so that brings me to this week's picks. Um, just a preface... Here, just to preface this, uh, it's 2:01 on Wednesday morning. I guess technically, uh, I just started a new job this week. I'm working nights. I'm still adjusting to it. I ran into a bunch of trouble. My car got a flat. Uh, I'm not feeling well. So I say that because the video is going to be very short. And I also wanted to tell you guys, it is Tuesday morning or Wednesday morning. Sorry, Tuesday night. So these lines might be a little different by the time you watch this video. It's also going to be a very quick video. My first pick is Denver minus seven, and again, these are going to be speed picks here. Um, I don't see how they can beat San Diego. I think they're the better team. Let's take uh, Denver minus seven. Um, my next pick is Indy minus nine point five, and they are playing St. Louis. So I do not believe that they will beat St. Louis there. And I know you guys are probably looking like, man, he's looking at who the friggin' teams are playing. It's late. I've worked all day. The editor Jason P wanted us up. Forgive me. I know I'm not quite with it 100%. Uh, next pick is going to be uh, Dallas Cowboys plus 7. Uh, I believe that they will actually win outright against New Orleans. So let's go with Dallas plus 7. And I'm putting my record on the line there in that game. Um, my record with the Cowboys is very good. I think it's like 6-0 and or 6-1 and this year or something like that whenever I've taken games with them. Uh, my lock of the week is going to be Philadelphia. Right now they are actually plus one somehow. I'm not sure how, but they are. Uh, so let's take Philadelphia plus one of the lock of the week. Philadelphia I'm also very, very good in um, this year. I forget the exact numbers on it, but lock of the week, Philadelphia plus one. And in fact, Jason P will cut this video right now. 
and he'll pick the video back up right here so I can tell you I am 5-1 and one picking Cowboys games this year and 3-1 and one picking Eagles games. So there you have it, folks. Let's send it over to Billy B for his Week 10 picks. What's up, guys? Billy B here, Week number 10. I did very bad last week, 0-4 in the video. Didn't do too much better on the website picks. Probably the worst week of picking in my life. But it's a new week, new opportunity to win some money, so here we go. My first pick I'm going to give you is the New York Giants, minus 7 against the Oakland Raiders. The Giants are playing very good football uh, of late, the last couple weeks. They're coming off a bye. Oakland Raiders um, just got killed by the Eagles. Nick Foles threw seven touchdown passes against them. They have to fly across the country to play a 1 o'clock game. That usually doesn't bode well for West Coast teams. So I think the Giants are going to win this game by at least double digits. So take the Giants, minus 7. Take them. My next pick I'm going to give you is the Broncos, minus 7 against the Chargers. The Broncos lost their head coach for about a month or two to a heart issue. I think they're going to rally around their coach, get a big win for him. Uh, they got rested in the bye week, their injuries. So I think it's going to be like a 38-20 to 20 game, something like that. So take the uh, Denver Broncos minus 7. My next pick I'm going to give you is the Houston Texans plus 3 against the Arizona Cardinals. Like the Broncos, they've also lost their head coach to a, a health issue. Um, they were killing the Colts in the first half last week uh, until the coach went down at halftime. They took the sales out of the crowd and the team, but I think they're going to rally around him, and I think they're actually going to win this game outright. But I'm going to take the Texans plus three. Take them. And for my lock of the week, I'm going to give you the Washington Redskins minus one against the Minnesota Vikings. The Redskins are playing good football. They are still in it in the playoff race. Uh, RG3 is looking like his old self again. Uh, it's a short week. The Vikings played one of the best games that they they had this um this or last week against the Cowboys, and they still lost, so I don't know how much they're going to have left in the tank. Um, they lost their tight end, Kyle Rudolph, for this game, so they're going to have to lean on AP, and if the Redskins can stop him, they're going to win this game. So take the Washington Redskins, lock of the week, minus one. So with that, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments below, let us know what you think of our picks, and give us your picks also. And as always, we will see you next week.